Um, what do you guys uh, need to do to improve as an offense? The yards per, you know, your yards every game have gone down, points have gone down. You guys seem to kind of be in the nadir. What, what do you have to do to, to kind of pick yourselves up? Uh, it just goes back to details. Uh, early on in the season, we're coming out of uh, fall camp and a lot of the things were details there, de detail or oriented. Now we're kind of, you know, we're getting into, uh, you know, some of us may be getting into a routine, going to school, midterm, stuff like that. But we got to, you know, put school stuff to school stuff, you know, personal stuff, personal stuff. When we come to football, you know, it's football time. So uh, involving the offense and, and, you know, particularly just going back to details, focusing on the fundamentals. And uh, I think we got a good jump on that today. Being, the run, you know, being a fullback in the run game, that's taken a few steps back here lately. You know, what, what what do you guys see on tape that, that maybe the run, you aren't getting done or, or things aren't happening in the run game if you can find a, a through line through all of it? Yeah, I think it's uh, – like Coach Wilcox was telling us, you know, in football, 10 guys isn't going to get it done. In baseball, you know, 10 guys, you can win a, a championship. So I think it goes down to just winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. You're not going to win every one-on-one -on -one battle, but, you know, trying to be consistent with it and, uh, you know, fighting to, to be consistent, you know, is the most important part. So I think it goes back to just one-on-one -on -one battles and uh, being able to communicate out there. And uh, it's going back to the fundamentals and, you know, our fundamentals. We know how to do it, so uh, we just got to get back to it. Coach said uh, after Saturday's game that he thought he'd learn the most about you guys in the next 48 hours. What do you think you've shown him in the last two days? Yeah, uh, I think, I mean, he know, or we showed him that we care. You know, we will fight, but uh, like it just goes back to the details, and you know, it, it, it stings, like he says, and uh, we, we want to get back to winning. Uh, that the winning's fun, you know. Uh, we come out here, we practice hard all the time, so you know, we got to just translate our, our hard workouts and hard practices to uh, Saturday afternoons. He, he mentioned that personnel across the board was open for changes. Do you feel like you guys need to make personnel changes or is there something else that you guys need to do to get this back on the right track? Yeah, uh, personnel changes is one of the things that needs to happen. Uh, then, you know, the coaches, they're in charge of that. Uh, we're all going to keep competing and uh, and I've told you know reporters this early, you know, earlier in, this, in the fall camp and whatnot that uh, it's good to have that kind of competition all around and if the second string guy or the third string guy is going to be the one at the moment who's who's got it going on right now, then if the coaches think that's uh, the guy to go with, you know, we're going to keep rolling with that. So uh, whoever's in, we all trust each other. And, uh, yeah, if personal change is the thing that needs to happen, then, uh, you know, everyone's ready to go. Duran said after the game that you guys were going to have some sort of team meeting meetings. I guess it's kind of tough to get 110 guys into one meeting. But yeah. have you guys had, you know, groups of guys sort of sit together and, hey, listen, what, what do we need to do? I think uh, personnel group wise, yes. Uh, before and after those meetings yesterday, uh, like just I know, players only. Yeah, players only, and since you know, you just you know, talk with each other, and you know, we we all know what you know. We all have the same goal in mind. That's to win every Saturday. Uh, you know, this week Friday, but uh, we we just need to get back to doing us and uh, us in those first three weeks. So, yeah, and in terms of the tight ends, we talked, and uh, you know, we we had our little conversation. You know, how we need to be better and help the team win. In terms of blocking, in terms of catching, in terms of just... Yeah, and all aspects of the game, too. Uh, you know, special teams is a big thing, too. So, uh, especially in the tight end room, a lot of us are on the special teams. So, uh, just keep focus on that. And Coach Regal being our special teams coach. You know, we know we understand every day in and day out that it's an important task. So, did you guys just get together in the locker room or, or just stay? Uh, yesterday, uh, prior to his meeting in the locker room, yeah. So, right before, because we met yesterday, yeah. You mentioned that the three and zero start. You guys got off to, to such a good start. How, how have you guys held up the mood, the atmosphere around here during this last little three game skid? Yeah, uh, I mean it, it sucks to lose. Uh, we're still, you know, it's it's football. We're we're glad to be in the position we are right now, especially you know, see all that nasty stuff going on in our world. You know, we're we're glad and we're lucky to be out here playing football. You know, that that's easy compared to what's going on. So I mean. We still love being out here. I don't think we've toned down a bit. It's just you know where our priorities at. You know, prioritize winning and prioritize doing the right things to uh, you know continue to be successful. Right or wrong, the the quarterback gets blame and praise for for good and bad. Uh, what do you guys as an offense around Ross need to do to to help him get back to where he was early on in the season? Yeah, uh, just like I was saying earlier, we just gotta you know win those one on one battles, whether it's up front on the line, me in the backfield, the running back coming out of the backfield, blocking and running routes, and then to the receivers too if they need to you know. You know, I don't know too much about their, their situation, but uh, you know, if you could get open, then you know it's going to be easier on the quarterback. So uh, if it just goes back to winning those one-on-one -on -one battles and just making it easier for him and everyone else around us. You mentioned the, the Friday game this week. What does that do for for you guys other than speed it up a day? What what does that change for you guys as you prepare? Uh, nothing much. The schedule, you know, the schedule changes, but uh, you know, football time is football time, and. Uh, 
I mean, we just get to play another game a day earlier. You know, that's that's fun. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Malik. Right, yeah, no, thank you. Have a good one.